Yellowstone National Park is home to beautiful mountains, majestic geysers, and a sleeping giant known as a supervolcano. A supervolcano is a type of volcano with a central eruption capable of erupting with a magnitude of 8, according to the Volcanic Explosivity Index. While Yellowstone is not the only supervolcano, there are others located in New Zealand, Indonesia, and elsewhere, it has received significant attention because of its size and location. What would happen if Yellowstone erupted? Check out expert predictions about the possibility of an eruption, not only in the area around Yellowstone, but also around the world. According to the United States Geological Survey USGS, if Yellowstone erupts, the impacts would be felt worldwide. First, the area around Yellowstone would experience pyroclastic flows. Pyroclastic flows are the term used to describe lava erupting from a volcano, and these flows include a mixture of volcanic gases, ash, pumice, and hot, high-density lava chunks. This flow is moving rapidly and will soon descend the volcano's slopes. It could consist of two parts, a lower, hot lava flow that will move along the ground surface, and then an ash cloud that will rise above the lava surface. This pyroclastic flow will destroy everything it touches, and a Yellowstone eruption will send it to Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. Regions far from Yellowstone will be spared this flow but will be affected by ashfall, which will fall heavily on the states closest to the epicenter. The ash will be extremely dangerous to anyone who inhales it and can instantly kill those in the worst affected areas. The weight of the ash will also pose a significant threat, choking vegetation and collapsing buildings as it accumulates. The BBC reports that ash will reach Europe within three to four days of the eruption, likely only as dust particles. After that, it will only take about two to three weeks for cooler temperatures to sweep across the globe, thanks to sulfur gases released into the upper atmosphere by the eruption. Scientists speculate that global temperatures will drop by as much as 10 degrees, with the northern hemisphere experiencing a drop of 12 degrees. This impact could last for 6 to 10 years, ending the monsoon season, which could lead to widespread famine in Asia. The good news is, scientists don't believe the sleeping giant beneath Yellowstone National Park will awaken within our lifetimes. According to Live Science, experts say Yellowstone's next eruption is likely hundreds of thousands of years away. And even then, the eruption may not be as severe, according to research published in the journal Nature, as experts have discovered that the magma lurking within Yellowstone is actually divided among four distinct chambers. Furthermore, some magma reservoirs may have cooled and solidified, reducing the likelihood of an eruption. While this discovery will likely change the world's landscape, it's unlikely to happen anytime soon. Yellowstone National Park is undeniably one of the gems of the United States. With its stunning scenery and abundant wildlife, there's so much to see and do when you visit this vast national park. However, timing is everything, and deciding when to pack up and leave can be a gamble. Keep reading to learn more about the best time to visit Yellowstone Park, including the best time to start your trip. It turns out, the best time to visit Yellowstone largely depends on what you want to see most. According to the Yellowstone Safari Company blog, June through September is Yellowstone's peak visitor period. This is closely related to daytime temperatures in the park, as these months tend to be the warmest. Not only can you expect beautiful weather, although the company notes that unexpected snowstorms cannot be ruled out during this time, but during these months, all 251 million roads within the park will be open.